everyone, I decided to fool around a little bit with some bright spring colors. So if you like this look and you want to know how to do it yourself, then so keep on So let's get watching. down to the tutorial part. So I'm only using a few products today. They're all inspired by spring and pastel and Easter and all those fun colors. I'm using this um, cream shadow palette from Revlon. This is uh, the Wild Orchids palette. If you don't have this, you can use a NYX Jumbo Shadow. I'm going to use this color as the base. Um, and then for my shadows, this was sent to me from a viewer in England. It's from Collection 2000, the Angelic Eye Palette. It's probably limited edition, so I apologize if you can't get to it. I'm going to use, I'm just going to show you the colors I'm planning on using. I'm using this for my lid, this in the crease, and this to darken it up. Now. I will swatch all of them as I go. Just find anything that's close in your collection. Um, you never have to use exactly the products that you see anybody using on YouTube. That's the fun of makeup is everybody has something that's close. So without further ado, and excuse the beeping, I'm doing laundry in the background. I'm going to start. Um, so I'm going to start. I already put on my face, my foundation, powder, bronzer, blusher, all that good stuff. And I'll list what I used below in the description box. Um, I've already primed my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. And now I'm just going to grab, I think this is a synthetic brush, and I think it's from Bare Essentials. It's, it has no, no identifiers on it. I'm just going to dab that into the pot. You could use your fingers for this. My nails are finally really growing, and so um, it gets a little messy if I use my fingers. So I'm just putting this all over the lid, trying to stay a little under the crease just to avoid the creasing problems. Some people experience major creasing when they use the Revlon Cream Shadow. I've been lucky, and I really haven't had issues, but I think a lot of that is because I layer it over the paint pot, and then I really blend it out on the edges. Actually, I do go a little above the crease. And I personally have not had any problems. Now, if you have, you probably want to skip this step or use something else that works for you. Like I said, the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils are great. And this isn't really so much to add color as just to um, bring out the next shade. And I have to say, I have no idea how this is going to turn out. So your guess is as good as mine. This video may not even end up going on air. Okay, so I'm going to start with this color here, and I will swatch that on my finger for you. It's sort of a grayish, shimmery, with some lilac undertones. Little hint of almost periwinkle, if you want to get very technical. And I'm just using a flat shader brush. This is a Sigma... 239. It's the old numbering system. They're old. And I'm just packing that on. And I'm just putting that over. And you can see it really brings out the color. And this is a little strange for me. I don't usually do color. I'm very much a happy neutral girl. Sometimes a little purple, but even I feel like my purple is kind of muted, so this is a bit of a change for me. We'll see if I like it. It looks good when I played with it on my hand. So I'm just kind of rounding out that corner a little bit. Helps make my eyes a little bigger. Anything you can do. And I'm going to take the tip and dip it in there. And I didn't put any cream product underneath, which is fine. And I'm running that the whole length of my eye underneath. And into that tear duct just to brighten things up a little bit. There's a dog next to me. I have no idea which dog it is. My husband was traveling yesterday and came home and announced that he wants to get a Belgian Malinois, which is like a smaller version of a German Shepherd. And I explained to him that we already have three dogs and we are not adding a third. But he says, fine, when Bosley goes, that's what we're getting next because I want a smart dog. And he saw one at the airport and it was very smart. Okay. Anyway, now I'm using this bright purple. And that swatched on my hand is like that. You can also use a kitten from Wet n Wild would be a great substitute. There's a purple in all the Wet n Wild. There's a, there's 
endless amounts of purple. So anything that looks like that. And it actually isn't that pigmented. So I'm just going to run this in the crease. You can see it doesn't come off quite that bright, which is actually, I think, a good thing. It makes this a lot more wearable. And I'm kind of circling it out here on the edge. And I'm not bringing it all the way in, but fairly close. And I'll do that on the other side. This is a really fun palette. It's very versatile. Um, I've used these bottom shades a lot because I'm more of a coppery kind of person, but I have to admit I'm really having fun with these colors. So, my laundry is ready. I could stop and dry or fold clothes or I could finish this tutorial. Hmm. I think I'll finish this tutorial. Okay, so you could just stop here if you wanted to with the eyes, but when have I ever known to stop? So I'm just going to darken those outer corners a little bit with this color, which is a really bizarre, hard to describe, kind of like a shimmery navy blue with purple undertones. That's the best I can do. Contrast might be a similar color, although this is a lot more blue. But again, these colors are not very pigmented, which in this case is actually not a bad thing, because when you're dealing with bright colors, sometimes you, I mean, at least I, don't want crazy color going on. And I'm just putting that in this outer corner. I'm not even putting it under my eye. And I could have brought a blending brush, but I didn't. So what I'm going to do to fix this up a little bit, you could leave it like this. I don't want to put a shimmery highlight color. I think I've got enough going on with the purple and blue and all that. So I've reached for my trusty brulee and my um, this is an old Trish McAvoy brush. I don't even think they make this anymore. It's number 10. And I love it because it's almost like an eraser. It's a really fun, it's a fun shape. It's very versatile. And I'm just going to go back and forth and kind of hit the top of the color and a little along the edges and that really softens it up. So this is almost a no blending necessary look. And then, that's it for the shadows. For eyeliner, you could do black, you could do charcoal gray. Um, I have this double-ended pencil. This is the Love My Eyes Eyeliner Duo. I picked this up at Walmart for maybe a dollar or two. It's really cheap. And I bought it for the purple side. It's a really bright purple. And I'm going to line my eyes with that. Nothing funky. I'm not going to wing it. I'm just following the natural curve of my eyeball like that so it's it's pretty subtle but it does add a little hint see I'm avoiding the word pop that sounds silly to me pop a little hint of color and you know this isn't the best eyeliner so if you have an Ur the Urban Decay version of purple, I would go for that. If you rarely use purple and you don't want that kind of investment, then get this. And I'm sure there's other purples that are even better. That didn't go on very well at all. So now I'm tugging and adding to my wrinkles. Okay, that's it for the eyes. I'm just going to curl my lashes really quickly. And I still love this eyelash curler. I know it's not for everyone. In fact, I got the e.l.f. one that everybody loves, and I'm so used to using this that I can't do it anymore. Now, I know I love my cheap mascara, but my mom got all these samples of this rand like uh, Estee Lauder and, and uh, Lancome, and she didn't want this, and I, I asked her, and she said, no, 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 you take it. It's the Double Wear Zero Smudge Lengthening Mascara. Definitely an April favorite, definitely an all-time favorite. Um, if I were going to invest in a mascara, which is a poor investment because they don't last very long, this would be the one. I love it. It goes on so easily. It's so smooth. Um, which is, I know, oops, and I just dinged myself, which is a strange word to describe mascara, but it's so non-thickening. And yet at the same time, I'm going to take the end of this and 
see if I can fix that. Yeah, I'm making this worse, aren't I? Well, I will pause and fix in just a moment. Because I don't have any of my, I'm not in my bathroom, I don't have my Q-tips or anything like that here. But, I do love this mascara. It goes on really nicely. I feel like it really defines my lashes, makes them long or looking. Wow, I really made a mess of that, didn't I? Um, and, two of the important things. It really doesn't smudge. I can even wear it on my bottom lashes easily. But my favorite thing about this, this sounds crazy, but it's so easy to get off. I don't know about you guys, but when I wash my face at night, getting the mascara off with the wipes and everything else, it still never works out. There's always some, some crud left on my face the next morning when I wake up, there's still little raccoon eyes. This stuff, when I wash it off, off it comes. So, um, love it. So, okay, try to ignore the, um, go away. Try to ignore the mascara that is now all over my eyelid and pretend that it looks beautiful. See if I can hide it. There we go. And then, um, so that's it for the eyes. And then for lips, I want to keep it kind of simple. And I'm going to stick with my theme of free samples. So this was a Lancome sample, and it's the Color Design Shimmer Camisole. Because you know it's better than cheap? Free. And, sorry, this is the, it's a cute shirt, but kind of a pain to wear. And then over that is, um, this is the Revlon, ooh, Revlon Color Burst in Pink Ice. It's in their new lip gloss collection. I'm just mangling that doe foot, wow. Did you see that? That's like all over the place. So, oh, that still looks pretty bad. But that's the finished look. Um, it is color, but it's a little tame um, for those of us who aren't used to wearing color. So I hope that you learned something or you found this enjoyable. Um, if you have any suggestions for some better purple eyeliners, please leave them below. Um, I'm, I know that Urban Decay is really good, but um, I don't have any other good ideas for a nice bright purple eyeliner. So I'm in the market. Put your suggestions below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, send them my way and I'll see you guys in the next video.